In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S plus ZnNO3 2. This is sodium sulfide plus zinc nitrate. First thing we have to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. So you have one nitrate here and two nitrates here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodiums. Those are balanced. Everything else is balanced. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So sodium compounds are very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. That's going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve and dissociate. Nitrates as well, very soluble. Aqueous, we have another nitrate, sodium nitrate. That's going to be soluble. Then the question is this zinc sulfide, is this soluble here? So I have a solubility chart where I can look up compounds to see if they're soluble or insoluble. Sulfide, I don't have sulfide on my chart though. So let's look that up. So here's our zinc sulfide. We'll go down here and solubility in water. It's as negligible. So very little is soluble. Maybe you could call that slightly soluble or insoluble. So we're going to call this insoluble, which means it's going to be a solid in our net ionic equation. Such a small amount dissolves that most all of it's going to precipitate out, fall to the bottom of the test tube. So let's do that. Zinc sulfide is listed as a solid. Now we have the states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium group one is one plus, and then sulfur, when we get that sulfide ion, that's two minus. So I have two of these sodium ions, and I won't write the states until the end, plus the one sulfide ion. Zinc is always two plus, so we're gonna call this Zn2 plus, and then the nitrate, that's always one minus. We have two of them, so plus, two of these nitrate ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said sodium is plus, nitrate is minus, two sodium ions, and then we have two nitrate ions. This two applies to everything. And then because zinc sulfide is a solid, we don't split it apart, we just call it zinc sulfide, keep it together. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see I have two sodium ions. In the products, I have two sodium ions. They haven't changed, so we're just gonna cross that out. What else do I have? Two nitrate ions in the reactants, two in the products, cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus zinc nitrate. I'll clean this up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus zinc nitrate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have two minus and two plus. That balances out, we have a neutral compound. And we have a sulfur here, here, zinc, and zinc. So mass is balanced as well. Some people like to have the positive ion first. Either way, it's the same thing, but it does look a little bit nicer. So we'll do that. There's our net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.